Hello everybody, we are back playing more Divinity Original Sin 2. Um, I just was just exploring some dialogue stuff and making sure I had leveled up my characters. Um, and I guess we're marching somewhere. Let's see where we're headed. Gareth's rallying point is up there. Alright, we'll go rally with Gareth, I guess. Um, so, if you don't remember what happened in the last episode, we explored the vault, found some soul jars, some cool stuff. What's this? I found something. Whoa, what did you find? Wait, what are you talking about? So confused. What did you find, you dork? Whatever. A skeleton? Could it have something on it? No. <laughs> um Did we even get a chance is this a fucking fast travel point? Is this so I want to get access to it? Okay, get going, get going, the pig is gonna light everything on fire. Come on gang. Holy shit. Oh, is that source? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna say right now, okay, they're fucking sprinting to get over here. Seems good. Your gaze wanders over the solemn stone face that overlooks the shore. For the briefest of moments, it seems as if its eyes come alive and lock with yours. Cool. Cool. Your gaze wanders. Your gaze wanders over the solemn stone face that overlooks the shore. So it's not very fast travel. Interesting. Assuming there isn't a way in. Uh, how do we get down from here? Almost to uh, Gareth's place. I think. Somewhere over here. There's something down here. A freaking dragon? I'm gonna leave him alone for now. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if we're ready to fight a dragon team. Okay, but uh such barbarism. What happened here? Hopefully we're able to So many seekers lost. And more blood will be spilled before long. At least Han is safe at the shop. Smoke, blood and carnage. The magisters didn't spare a single seeker. Not we're able to uh deal with these shriekers and get off the island is the plan. Not without stronger weapons than You've these. come. Lucien B. Gareth glances over his shoulder, and his voice tightens. 
The Shriekers keep watch, and their gaze isn't the only one we should avoid. The murderer is here, Alexander. What? No way. That's pretty important for I I Ithan. He wants to murder him. If I didn't know better, I'd think the gods themselves were your counsel. He reaches for the wand, but pulls back. Would that I could aim this wand at Alexander myself, to bleach his soul and sear his skin. No. This thing was birthed from a wicked era. What would Lucian say, seeing me confront one evil with another? Go. Take down those Shriekers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'm guessing that's one of those Shriekers. Whatever it is, it looks dangerous. It does indeed look dangerous. Praise be! You have silenced the Shriekers and cleared our way. Yet it seems I'm in need of you again, my friend. You have any okay. more miracles in you? We've got a boat ready to row to the Lady Vengeance. But if Alexander sees us bobbing among the waves, we'll be shark chow. So we split up. I take the Seekers to the Lady Vengeance. You go to the ruins and keep Alexander busy. He'll be expecting a breeze. Show him that you're a hurricane. Are you ready? We've got right on our side. A greater ally than any sulking geist or any whinging magister. Hell yeah! He takes the news calmly. A moment passes as he calculates the consequences, assessing this new world as it opens up before him. He nods his thanks, then raises his voice. Seekers, we move. You are Lucian's eyes and ears. You are his sword and his shield. Burn the blackness with your holy fire! No wait, that's Alexander? I feel like he's been hyped up. I feel like he's been hyped up a shit ton. What's up, bitch? There you are, the SKP. I feared you'd made it to Reaper's Coast by now. Ah. And Ifan Benmez, too. Back in Fort Joy, I wasn't quite sure, but it really is him, the poor God's curse. Fuck you. Bravest man I ever met. Now, for anyway, you're here now. You know, Gallus and Vredeman warned me about you. God woke them. I'm afraid your journey ends here. You would only bring ruin to Rivalon. If anyone is going to become the next divine, it will be me. Please, don't make this harder than it has to be. It's not your fault, but still you stand in the way of peace. This must be the end of your journey. For the salvation of all Rivalon. no chance but I admire your resilience give it your best shot I will it. okay we got this boys uh, how do we want to hit it Do we really want to do that though? I mean, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Oh, 
shit. What is this? A geist? Hopefully we can purge a geist. Shit. That makes it so loud. Worse. Um. gonna try and heal in there. But I think healing him might just heal him. So uh I'm armor of frost here. And the king touch. There's a decent chance we fucking die. I guess we're, we're only supposed to distract them, right? But definitely feel like I'm outmatched here. We're outnumbered and outleveled. Isn't good. Can we afford to go for the damage? We're gonna pop healing, so I, yeah, I think we maximize the damage there. Pain is gonna need some healing though. That's for damn sure. Oh, come on. Alexander, you're gonna go over here? Yeah, the three of you are gonna get impaled. Oh shit, that <laughs> hit right if and fuck. <laughs> okay. Teleporting Thane. Not great. Alright, we're definitely healing. Prince, ma'am. Um, fields up. And encouragement. Fit. Okay. Alright. Oh, Christ. Not our turn yet. Yep, things. The red prince is going down. What seems like. Yep, there goes. There goes our prince. All right. Decent chance here we die. If so, we're gonna go try and find a way to get more experience. I think. Void Vulcan drill work. Now, your foul sorcery the death of us 
all. Only a few does not fear the void. Now fight! Not great for us, but we're here. Without a magical armor, it's good. We have a giant worm to deal with, which isn't that great. Um, who has low physical armor? We'll go for the Geist, I guess. Get him out of here, hopefully. Is there even blood near us? I don't even know what to do here. I guess we can swing. Can't even do anything there. Alright, we'll make it rain blood. That, that sucks. Alright. Great. Okay. No. Please don't. Please don't do anything bad. Okay. It's distracting them. To the point where I think this fight might be somewhat winnable. I think Prince's entire turn here has to be going to getting armor back up. That's three of the party members now. Holy crap. Um, this isn't great. We're fighting the worm though. Thank god the AI is not going too hard on me. Okay, time to use some of these. Fortunately, I can't seem to resurrect anybody. So the question is, what do we do? This is a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage.
to resurrect our healer, please. I think our main goal should be getting the prince back up, even if we put him back here. <laughs> Get you healing. That's not good. Not great. I had to be honest with you. That actually sucks. What the fuck? <laughs> Just because we can, let's play dead for the turn. Just in case anything bad happens. Alexander's about to go down. We barely survived this fight. The worm definitely helped us. Worm survives another round. So do something crazy. Which it does. Alexander is dead. My contract is fulfilled. Unfortunately, I don't know that I'm going to be able to use it. I kind of don't want to walk through the fire like, at all. Let's go invisible, why not?
levels down. Kind of hoping we'd all level up, but not quite yet. Okay. How did Solar get over here? What? delay my turn. I kind of want to try always fortify. Sort of wanted to teleport one of them up there. Um, I'll delay your turn as well. So we can all go together. goes FM. Oh, wait, he's still alive? Still got this guy to deal with, so let's deal with him. I feel like I was able to move really far.
ていうそういうWhatever. Master Shepherd, I suppose. I'm not trying to drag this combat out, just trying to make sure we don't have any more death. Just tell me, you idiots, get to the bow. I see now, it's just trying to effectively hit us. 
Oh. was kind of sick. Level 8. Cool. Cool. Come on, Sildar. It's okay. Jesus. That was a lot. Let's loot everything. Doing a giant void room. Well, 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 quite the mess you've made here. I'm Malady, and you're... She steps forward, grabs you behind the neck with alarming strength, and pulls you close. She sniffs, she releases you, and grins, running tongue over teeth. God woken. And I've heard of you. You're what gets some of us out of bed each day. What do you make of that? Well, first things... She peers at you closely, a knowing squint in her eye. Tell me, which of those little gods did you meet? And what did they teach you? it is and if you want to take my boat off this island you'll consider me a privileged party why do i care about her believe it or not i'm here to help you so they're free to smite me where i st she cocks her head and smiles her eyes go wide <clears throat> go on then show me what he taught you ah like that she takes you by the shoulders and gestures for you to do the same to her she closes her eyes, and a warm, soothing sensation runs from her hands into your body. Suddenly, you feel the familiar swell of source within you. Hey, that stings. She examines her hands, where the skin sizzles slightly beneath their newfound aura. As the spell fades, the skin... You really are Godwoken. I'm... happy. How unbecoming. Come then, we set sail, your destiny awaits, etc. Melody beckons you after you, darling. <sighs> yeah, I got just a couple things to do. I want to double check we got everything on this freaking island. Holy crap, that was a tough fight, huh? Was that all the bodies? That definitely wasn't all the bodies. There's more underneath here. I must say, 
I was lacking skin, may make. However, they are infuriating when they get in. Guys, didn't have anything I could do. I can't even get to it, so it's like. I guess not. Alright, well, I think we looted everything. Let's check our journal, see what we got. Don't care about that. Pretty much the flames, we could probably bless them. I think the feeling wants to be warm. Okay, that's something from the later. Find the rest of the armor. Uh, we could go hunting for the rest of Brockus Rex's armor. We can't return to Fort Joy. Kind of blows. Um. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if we want to stay and keep exploring. I mean, we got stuff to move on to, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. But we will do that in the next episode. So, um, in the next episode, we'll head out with my, my lady. Melody. Melody. I don't know. Um, and we will finally be getting off Fort Joy uh, after like 15 episodes. So, uh, pretty excited. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying Divinity Original Sin 2. And, uh, yeah. Thank you again so much for watching, and uh, have a great night.